Could be you've never once been in the gleeful position of totaling up your winnings after betting a 30 to 1 long shot at the racetrack. Even so, the world of paramutual machines and daily doubles has made you richer in one respect, your vocabulary. We'll be presenting a few examples on this edition of World Detective, prepared as an educational service on this station in cooperation with the Underwood Corporation, for more than 60 years a leader in the field of typewriters and business machines. Aqueduct, Hylia, Pimlico, Santa Anita and Belmont Park may be as remote from your world as the craters of the moon. But it would be quite unusual if you've never used such expressions as neck and neck, photo finish, on the nose, or dark horse, all of which had their origins in the environments of the racetrack. Each of these terms shows its racetrack background very clearly. But there's one very popular American expression which most people don't suspect came out of the straw-covered horse stalls behind the racetrack grandstands. We inherit this particular phrase from old-time American horse trainers who discovered that their high-strung thoroughbred charges grew considerably calmer if some other animal moved in with them as a regular stall mate. These emotionally stabilizing stable companions stayed with the thoroughbreds all through their training period and went along on track-to-track -track travels too, for it was particularly important for a horse to maintain a calm equilibrium on the day of a big race. And now, enter the villain. On more than one occasion, so racetrack legends say, unscrupulous gamblers sneaked into the stalls a few days before a race and made off with the animal which was the steady companion of a horse ranked as a favorite. Without his long-time stall buddy as a calming influence, the horse would go to the post in the nervous twit and finish far out of the running, and the gamblers, with gloating smiles, would tote up their winnings. If I tell you now that one animal very often used to fill this role of calming companion was a goat, perhaps you can guess what expression it was that this old-time horse trainer's custom brought into our language. I'll type it out for you right now on my Underwood typewriter. The only typewriter with the golden touch. The expression was to get one's goat, which, according to one school of entomological thought, had its origin in the old-time horse trainer's habit of calming down a high-strung thoroughbred by giving him a goat as a roommate. To get a horse's goat was to make him nervous and unable to function at his best. And in our time, the expression has this same meaning to bewilder, confuse, or baffle, to irritate, annoy, or vex. The only difference is that nowadays, when we use the expression, getting his goat, we are talking not about a horse, but a human being. Don't go away now. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 